Good morning. This is Thursday, May 12th, very early, 5 a.m. on the eastern side of the United States in the northern and western hemispheres of planet Earth in the solar system of the Milky Way galaxy and the creation of Almighty God, Almighty Allah, as we call him. Same God. To, my, to all the Jews, message to all the Jews, okay? Shalom Aleichem. Salam Aleichem. Peace be with you. I was born and raised into a Jewish family 72 years ago, and my life led me, after 60 years of it, to Islam. Okay? Um, what started the search was when Kennedy got shot, and all everybody was lying and or, you know, lying about it and saying it was one shooter. Even then, we knew, even though we didn't have telephones and, and computers, we knew we could something smelled to high heaven, something stunk to high heaven, and we could feel it. I was only 14 years old in 1963, and that started me on a search for truth. I was born and raised in a Jewish faith. As I said, I was bar mitzvah. I went to Hebrew school, studied for 10 years as a child, as a young man, as a teenager. Had a lot of questions nobody could answer. When I was in college, I had an epiphany about Jesus. And I didn't join any church, but I did follow the red letters in the Bible. Uh, I was on a hippie farm. I was in a Christian monastery for three years. It was all in the search for truth. Like, how could a president of the United States be blown away, have his head blown off in broad daylight on television? And to this day, to this day, there's a dispute about who did it. Okay? Somebody's lying and somebody's hiding stuff. And we all know. Okay, we all, people who look know. All right. So my search led me from one thing to another. <clears throat> all the false flags were discovered. I discovered all the false flags, most of them. And um, I had what you might call a Jake Sully moment. A Jake Sully moment. After 9 11, um, for nine years, for eight years, I defended the Muslims and I didn't even know any Muslims. But I was looking at the facts about 9-11, and I said, four airplanes and 19 hijackers could not have done this. It was physically impossible. Thousands of architects, thousands of engineers, thousands of first responders, thousands of pilots, they all say, no, this couldn't have happened this way. Big lie. It reminded me of John Kennedy all over again, only much bigger. Okay? So... One thing led to another, and I was defending the truth. I was saying the Muslims couldn't have done this. And my friends were saying to me, what are you defending Muslims for? And I said, I'm not. I'm defending the truth. I didn't even know any Muslims at the time. Okay? In 2009, I had another epiphany, you might say, realization, divine revelation. And I'm not ashamed to say it. And God revealed to me, the same as he revealed that Jesus was really the Messiah of the Old Testament, not that he's God and not that we should worship him, but that he's the Messiah of the Old Testament and he is coming back and he didn't die yet. As sure as that's true, and as sure as Moses received the Ten Commandments, that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the final messenger. And he, he's bringing it all home. Jews are basically two major prophets short of the whole story. This is what I've learned and discovered in my search for truth. Okay, now regarding the Jake Sully moment, if anybody saw Avatar, and if you didn't, I advise you to watch it. There's a man in that show named Jake Sully. He's a wheelchair-bound person who is allowed to transform his or transfer his his being, his soul, you might say, into the body of a alien being, a large blue creature, human being, humanoid kind of person, and. Uh, Human beings were going through the universe uh, stripping st planets of their resources. And um, they were calling these big blue creatures savages. And Jake Sully had a moment. Jake Sully had a moment when he realized that his own species were the villains in the story. And that um, these blue folks were really nice people. Really in, in line, in accord with the universal laws of creation and living according to the way Allah made them to be. And the people that were out of whack were his own species. And he had to realize that. And he had to make a choice. Who was he going to go with? Was he going to go with his own species just because he's, it's his own species and make a racist choice 
or was he going to go with what he felt in his heart was the truth? Okay, and if you watch the movie, you'll see the choice he made. And this is the choice all Jews have to take a look at right now. Because as hard as it is for me to say this, and as much as I know so many people will say this is anti-Semitic, which it is not, the truth of the matter is that a major portion of the evil in this world right now has emanated from an element of human beings who came out of the Khazarian um, mass migration of the Middle Ages into Judaism. And these people have been the, the Kaiser Soze, you might say, which is like a metaphor from another movie called The Usual Suspects. The, the Zionists are like the Kaiser Soze's of the world. They're the victim monsters. Half the time they're playing the victim and the other half of the time when you can't tell what they're doing, they're being the monsters. And they're masters at throwing other people under the bus and uh, creating false flag events. Okay, And I had to make a choice whether I was going to stay with the tribe I was born into or if I was going to go with the truth. And the truth of the matter is the loyalty of a believer in God should be to God, not to a particular prophet or a particular religion, because Allah, God, has shifted his story from one prophet to another, and religions have sprouted up in the names of the prophets, when in truth there's only one religion, and that's the religion of God. And that's basically peace through submission, peace through willing submission to Almighty God which is what Islam means. And um, the word Muslim means someone who has willingly submitted their will to the will of God. This is what Abraham was. This is what Noah was. This is what Adam was. There was no Judaism or Christianity back then. This is the true religion. Islam is being rolled out to all humanity now. It's the religion of all the prophets and messengers. And I know you'll say, oh, no, 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 they were all Jews. Well, they were... But they were also, they had, you might say, the platinum membership. They had submitted so much of themselves. They had surrendered so much of themselves to Allah that he could use them as tubes, as messengers, transmitters of his messages, which put them in another class of faith beyond the run-of-the-mill Jew, children of Israel. And this religion of submission is the original religion that Adam Noah, Enoch, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all of them down to before Abraham's grandson when Judaism actually got coined and branded. The original religion is Islam, peace through submission, willing submission. And my life led me to this. My search for truth that began when Kennedy got assassinated led me to Islam when I was 60 years old. So all of you Jewish people, don't be attached and also, beyond all that, the Jewish identity has been hijacked by the Zionists. The Zionists are not religious people. The Zionists are political agenda to take the world for their own. The bankers, the Rothschilds, who came out of the Ashkenazis, the, the Khazarian, the Eastern European uh, conversion, they were goldsmiths and they became money lenders. And then they started lending money to countries. And then they started charging massive amounts of usury, riba, which is strictly forbidden in all the religions, but Islam upholds it. There is no, it's against the rules. It's a big sin to charge or accept interest because it's slavery. It turns into slavery. Look at the world. And they took, the, the Rothschilds now own all the central banks, 80% of Israel and most of the resources on earth. Okay? They are the... They are the foot soldiers for, for, the, for the false messiah. They're setting up the stage for the coming of the false messiah. Whatever they're building over there in the Middle East up, the greater Israel, this is what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is returning to destroy. All right? So if you love God, if you happen to be Jewish and you love God, and you want to be recognized by God as a believer, then you need to get current with the prophets and messengers and not be stuck Okay, Moses foretold the coming of Jesus, and both Moses and Jesus foretold the coming of Muhammad. The books have been cooked. Okay, the Torah and the Gospel have been changed in meaning by men. If you don't believe me, look at just Jeremiah 8.8. 8. He just basically says it. 